QIA. What the fuck does the QIA stand for? The extra, because yeah. wouldn't plus, Intersex wouldn't plus cover everything else? And I, I'll asexual tell you what, Bill, who cares? That's what it stands for. Yeah, exactly. For. Facts. Cares? Facts. Who cares? An Orlando woman is stuck in Turks and Caicos tonight after what authorities at the airport say they found in her luggage and no wasn't drugs it wasn't a weapon either it was loose bullets two of them yeah her arrest marks the fifth of its kind in recent months most of the americans facing charges have said bringing the ambo to the island chain in the caribbean was an accident new at 11 new six is troy campbell's looking into the charges and their chances of fighting them 45 year old charita greer of orlando arrested in the turks and caicos on monday after airport security discovered two bullets inside of her luggage. Police say the ammunition was found during a routine search. Greer is the fifth American arrested in the Turks and Caicos since the U.S. State Department issued a travel warning last year, warning Americans from carrying ammunition into the country. Just empty thing, everything out of your carry-on bag and then refill it with what you want there. Therefore, you're not surprised that something's in there that shouldn't be. TSA Administrator David Pekoski says improved technology here in the U.S. will be the best defense to stop Americans from boarding with ammunition. To me, the solution here is to put more technology assists available to them, and we're well on our way to being able to do that. You know, those new x-rays that passengers see um, that are computed tomography or CT x-ray systems are much better at detecting what's in a passenger's uh, carry-on bag. Officials in the Turks and Caicos haven't said which airport Greer departed from. But the charge does carry a mandatory minimum of 12 years in jail. Damn. The State Department. Yeah, Jack. <laughs> Damn. You can tell oh. that was an accident. And it happened to me. I flew uh, from a private plane to Utah and then got on a, a commercial plane to fly back to. What did, what did well, you have? What did you have? I had a nine millimeter uh, bullet in my. Oh. I got a, a MERS I carry. It has all my important shit in it. And uh, I had, a, I always carry everywhere. So I had somewhere, I had lost a nine millimeter shell down in there somewhere. And I didn't find it when I cleaned it out to, to fly. I, I thought I got everything, but yeah. I, and then uh, it was just one bullet. If she was bringing in a suitcase full, yeah, lock her up. One or two, yeah, that, was, that was an accident. She had a, she had a few in there. She was, she I, I wonder, I wonder if she knows Brittany Brandon. I'm telling you, man. And, and listen, I wonder if she, um, Cause you know she hates America. You know that woman <laughs> right, hates right. America. Like well, America I mean, not racist. like in a way, not yeah. really hates it, but like performatively hates it. You know, I said for granted. Yeah, yeah. Well, America's racist. You know. Yeah, yeah it's just the worst. Well, you know, it's America. Of course, you know what I'm saying. Like America, America, America. She's, yeah, she definitely she took advantage of. If, if she had seen those flags on the beach, she would have been just as triggered as that white liberal earlier. <laughs> right. This country took so much, they're going to advocate for her, for sure. They're going to do what they can to get her out of this jam. Exactly. Everything they can. Um, but yeah, this is, this is, and, but they'll get her out before they get this guy out. A shocking twist in a high-profile case grabbing headlines in a tropical paradise. Yet another American was arrested for bringing ammunition to the Turks and Caicos. Brian Hagerich, an American citizen, and his wife learning he'll have to wait four more weeks to learn his fate for leaving ammunition in his checked luggage on a family vacation to Turks and Now, if it come down, they can only get one person out. You know who's coming home, right? <laughs> That's just yeah. Yeah, it don't matter. I don't matter what, how much this guy contributes to society. She's coming on. He probably he's the one that's going. He, he probably a model citizen, got a, a wife and kids, and pay a shit ton of taxes. And Caicos. That's another four weeks that um, you know, more milestone events, daughter's graduation, dance recitals, entire baseball seasons. Um, we're still steadfast in my goal. It's time baseball season. Them kids going to be in the major leagues by the time you come on. <laughs> College baseball. <laughs> what you well, talking about? They're going to be signing up for the Hall of Fame. <laughs> we're, we're still steadfast in my goal to return home. Yeah, yeah. How hard is this week? Yeah. Unbearable. It's just overwhelming on in every regard. Brian's future tied to the island nation's strict 2022 law prohibiting unlicensed firearms and ammunition 
and carrying a mandatory. You twin. know why they did that? Because this is a Sun Island, and those suns down there make Memphis and any black city in America look like Disneyland. We already did the videos on these are the most violent places on the planet. These little islands where it's this 98% suns, Barbados, Bermuda, Jamaica, Haiti, all these little Trinidad. islands. Trinidad, they're fucking, their murder rate, their crime right. rates are insane. Yeah, well, yeah, you could get good work sense. down there doing security in the DR when I got hurt. What is your message to the judge as she considers your sentence? <laughs> no, that I'm a man of character, integrity, you know, I did not have intent in this. That there are ways that this can be dealt with without separating my family from my for for 12 years. And I really hope that that's considered. Out on bail but forced to stay on the main island, Brian is now living in an Airbnb close to the local police station where he's required to check in every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. <laughs> Jeez, he's man. pretty damn lucky. Oh, he's fucked. Wow. wow, that's crazy. I just hope that, he that, don't drop the soup. That, that's that, more than, than these sun men around who commit attempt murders, murders. The guy do good. They here. didn't even say how many bullets this guy had, did they? It was like two. I think it was one. I think it, it was, was one. one. Just yeah, unreal. Right. We've met in such a strange way. And Brian also has a roommate, American Ryan Watson from Oklahoma, who, oddly enough, is facing the same nightmare. Dude, every night before bed, we're here just praying, talking. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Jesus Yo, bro, this is Listen, crazy. Man. <laughs> Listen, man. That is we can only say one of y'all, man. That sister is going to come home. Listen, yeah, it's 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 listen, there's no way they're leaving that sister over there. It's only right, all right? Yeah, so you gotta you better hope they can get a package deal where you know what I'm saying, five for one. But if they be like only one, y'all right. done. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta find that one bullet you brought to take out that sister. That's what you gotta do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Right. That's the only way. Fight like, that yeah, fucker or something. <laughs> I don't see any other way. I'm telling you, man. I'm talking about our kids, our families, making plans for when we get back home too. Yeah. The pair even sharing the same legal counsel. Each of them charged with leaving unlicensed ammunition inside their bags. And Brian and Ryan aren't alone. Recently, two other Americans also. See, this this story was before the sister got caught, so they had hope. This story is from two weeks ago, so the sister just got caught the other day, so they thought they had hope. It's a <laughs> glide of epidemic. Yeah. Look at these guys. I, I, Damn. Yeah, I know. I, know. What do, I wonder if they know that they're fucked. <laughs> one of us, one of us coming on. So we well, they're cool, sharing man. lawyers. If they, if their lawyer tells that guy, he's gonna hang himself because he, he knows he's just like. <laughs> yeah. Well, you forget about white privilege, though. I, I mean, it might come through in this case. Nah, no, nah, man. This and is his a, white privilege is gonna be a sheet he could tie around his neck. <laughs> this is a ninety-eight percent black country, man. There's no white privilege here. So facing the same serious charges. In a law that dates back as far as 2010, tourists and locals are prohibited from carrying firearms or ammunition. In the U.S., people can fly with unloaded firearms and ammunition in their checked luggage. Over the following years, Americans who were arrested for carrying ammo were briefly jailed, paid thousands of dollars in fines, and could come home. But in 2022, the island nation passed a stricter amendment to the law that now mandates the minimum 12-year prison sentence. ABC News reached out to the government of Turks and Caicos and so far has received no response. Turks and Caicos is an archipelago of 40 idyllic islands in the turquoise waters of the Atlantic Ocean, just a two-hour flight from Miami. So it's no surprise that the vast majority of its visitors are from the U.S. and Canada. A bright red alert on the local U.S. Embassy's website warns American tourists of the island's strict laws on firearms. 
we strongly encourage you to carefully check your luggage for stray ammunition. So they knew. So they right. told them, man. So we we yeah. we, we can we can um, wipe our hands from this. We, we the Americans, America, the terrible American country, perilous. They did everything they could. Yeah, and, man. And Ricky and Robbie are born's uh, American tourists of the island's strict laws on firearms. We strongly encourage you to carefully check your luggage for stray ammunition or forgotten weapons. And think about if it. After this story came out, that sister got caught in the bullets after all of this shit came out. <laughs> after this shit was on ABC News that four Americans, she went down there and got caught after that, and she's going to be the only one that they gets to come home. If you bring a firearm or ammunition into TCI, we will not be able to secure your release from custody. The State Department weighing in. When citizens of other countries come to the United States, we expect them to abide by United States law and we hold them accountable if they don't. And that is true. Uh no, the fuck you don't. Oh, right. Illegals are doing all types of shit here and not being right. held accountable. Shut Sorry, up. Didn't we just get a guy basketball player back? Well, he's talking about true. lawful, lawful people. I, the ones that are coming here legally don't count. He's not talking about. Yeah, them. that's true. That's true. Yeah, the legals don't count. Yeah, but yeah, um, that's true. Good point. Um, uh, for people traveling overseas in Turks and Caicos, firearms, ammunition, or other weapons are prohibited. But Brian says he didn't realize he was traveling with ammunition. Then came the moment where they pulled out the ammunition, and as I looked at it, I recognized it from from home this was hunting ammunition that i had purchased at home ashley his wife was in disbelief their two kids crying i remember pleading like can't we just give this to you can't we just pay a fine like it was an honest mistake um and it was a firm no ashley and the children were free to fly home brian spent the next eight nights in a local jail those were the absolute darkest days and nights of of my life. Ryan Watson, now Brian's roommate, was arrested on April 12th with his wife Valerie what while the they deployed. Yo, what, what the fuck? Those aren't going to be your worst night soon. <laughs> I a, promise. They got a wig on. What the fuck? Yeah, man. They old. They like still in that old like 70s century. That's clothes. a barrister. Yeah. Uh, arrested on April 12th with his wife Valerie while they departed Providenciales Airport found inside one of their bags, four bullets inside a small plastic bag. I was like, hey, I'm so sorry. Uh, you can just go ahead and dispose of those. I don't need them. I didn't, I didn't even know they were in there. Um, and they're like, no, you, you got to stick around. Ryan and, asked to call his parents, who were watching the couple's seven and nine-year-old children at home. I said, you know, I need to let them know that we're going to be late. At that time, the officer said, no, you don't understand. Like, you guys are both going to prison for 12 years. Holy and shit. No. Yo, and think about it. At least in America, there's white gangs. There's like the Aryan Brotherhood, the Packer Woods. You, in, in, in Turks and Caicos, that prison is 100% black. There might be an Umbrito in there. But yeah. I don't know. Not Turks and Caicos. It's gonna that's, be dark. That's a that's like all suns. All them little islands are all suns. But Turks is a high end island, right? You won't go there cheaply. Yeah, but they have a crime problem amongst. I figure it may be some some straggler tourists that are in prison down there. He may get lucky. <laughs> yeah, but they ain't gonna have no rank in there. They yeah, that's true. Form, <laughs> they gonna have to form their own Aryan Brotherhood in there. <laughs> right. Yo, prison, That's we're not so talking about jail, my G. We talking about prison. My wife, um, she broke down, and then when I heard her break down, I, I, I lost it as well. Police eventually released Valerie, who then flew home. But oh, Ryan her remains. He took the charge. He, Honorable he took man. It. Yeah, he that shit. <laughs> You got to, man. In that case, yeah. I would do the same thing you too, got man. To, yeah. You got to take that well, charge. Well, well, why can't she I, take I it? It's 2024, brother. Because, man. It's, yeah, I feel you, but, you know, you 
you got you can't even look your how you gonna be there with your kids? <laughs> it's just like right, right. No, I would take it. And like, where Bobby? Oh yeah, Bobby had to take that charge. Mommy's turkey geckos riding the pine. <laughs> bro, if she if she the one that that bought that shit with us, bro, I'm not taking that charge, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, th- this is a stupid law, though. Let's be honest. It makes no fucking sense. Bro, it this is, bro, this is the brutality you need for the sun man, bro. Yeah, they got a crime. It, you know, their crime has gotten out of control in all of those islands, man. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm, you, you got to... Yeah. This wasn't meant to catch Americans. It was meant to control their own population. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man, this... I, yeah, he had to, he had to take that charge, man. You can't you can't let your wife you now if, if you ain't got kids, she could take that motherfucker. <laughs> I see you, honey. Yeah, man. But if if you got kids, man, you gotta take that joint, man. That's just how it is, man. I um, see you the Baker's dozen, honey. <laughs> bye bye. Let me let me show you what why they have these things, man. And um. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming they have like a maybe like a gun like a gun trafficking problem going on, right? It's got to be. Well, it's a very small population, and the fucking slums are just a, a murderous hellhole. Tonight, yeah. potential well, you, you concerns know these for travelers. Guns into our communities. Yeah. Yeah, crates of them, dropping them off. Tonight, potential new concerns for travelers after an American tourist visiting the Turks and Caicos Islands was killed with two others in a shooting, according to police. The suspected gunman even sprang this police vehicle that intercepted them. Turks and Caicos. You hear that? Like they got cowboys down there. According to police. The suspected gunman even sprang this police vehicle that intercepted them. Turks and Caicos police say the same armed gang member shot at a car holding tourists. The killed American identified as Virginian Kent Carter, a father, veteran, and vice president of a local NAACP. Words alone aren't enough. To- <laughs> Jesus. Yo, this, they, 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 they got to do something about their crime problem down there, man. And they, and listen, you bringing it, they're an island. It's not like, um, what's his name? Kyle Rittenhouse can cross state lines. The only way that shit can really come in is through planes and shit and boats. You know what I'm saying? Right. Of a local NAACP. Words alone aren't enough to say how much this hurts, uh, how much we grieve right now. Police say a tour guide with Carter was also killed and others injured, including an officer. No arrests have been announced. I believe the original attack was targeted and carried out by armed gang members who act without conscience, who have no regard for life. Turks and Caicos Islands government releasing a statement saying the incident was rare and does not reflect who we are as a people. The State Department has a standing travel advisory for the islands, asking Americans to exercise caution due to crime, especially in Providencialis, at the same area where Carter was killed. The tourist is is not going to be the target. My concern is that that tourist is sitting at a table having lunch next to the target. And these gangs, they they go in there and they're not very careful. They just spray bullets. The gangs aren't very careful. <laughs> they just spray bullets. Who sounds everybody? Like, <laughs> sounds like sounds the familiar. New Orleans, Memphis, St. Louis, Baltimore. <laughs> and they're not very careful. They just spray bullets. This just the latest violent event at a popular vacation destination. In late 2021, tourists witnessing moments authorities have tied to drug cartels near Cancun, including this one from November, when two suspected drug dealers were killed on the beach, sending panicked tourists into the lobby of their hotel, some even barricading themselves in their rooms. And in October, an American resident killed in a suspected drug gang shootout in Tulum while vacationing. A tragedy in paradise. And a- well, yeah, that's fucking up the money. All these tourists getting shot and killed. Right. This, the money, this, they don't have an industry. You know right. what I'm saying? They don't have farmland. And they don't make steel and rice. No and manufacturing like process, right? Yeah, exactly. All they have is tourism. So y'all right. fuck the money. So they had to make it strict, you know, make the gun laws strict and shit. 
in a community left grieving one of their own back home. This is probably one of the best neighbors I've ever had. So this, this is really heartbreaking. Nayla Charles joins us now live from Los Angeles. Nayla, I'd like to go back to Turks and Caicos and what happened there. You know, Turks and Caicos, it's known for tourism, so popular with so many Americans.